another cold blustery day here in the Midlands of South Carolina and it's a whole different ball game today fellas I was completely out of wheel weight alloy so I had to dig out into my stash now that I've got the pure lead taken care of now I need this is the stuff you need for your buckshot uh, projectiles right here you can make this stuff as hard as you want it Stand by. Yeah, you just throw them in there with the clips. The steel clips will float and you will mess up. If you've got zinc and steel and other stuff mixed in with it, you're gonna mess up and accidentally toss them in there. As long as you don't get your alloy too much up over 800 degrees here, then uh, you're not gonna have you any other alloys melting into your wheel weight alloy. So that's what the target is. When you're using a flame like a turkey fryer, it's tough to control it sometimes, but that's what I got to do what I'm doing outside. So that's how we do it. Look around, it was starting to get a pretty good pool down there at the bottom. You can see it shimmering, that silvery goodness down there. The molten wheel weight alloy. And as it warms up these other wheel weights, it'll all start melting down in there once we get a pretty good pool. As I already see a piece of zinc that I missed. Y'all see it? I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of there. been about seven eight minutes later now all the clips are floating the steel clips on there are floating to the top that one seems to be floating there appears to be another piece of zinc see here as long as the temperature is low enough the zinc will not melt. Bunch of slag and bunch of, see here, there's a steel, looks like a piece of steel that I might have missed. You're going to miss them. All right. You're going to start scooping this stuff off. Start scooping the clips off. You'll definitely want you a metal receptacle to put these in because they are hot. Once again, sorry about the bad camera work, fellas. I'm out here by myself, and this is very hot. All righty, y'all get the idea. I'm going to get back with you once I get all this stuff cleaned out and ready to flux. Alrighty, folks, we got, I've loaded it up again. Now, I have to flux it again, honey. Okay. Tell Miss Joanne, she's a trooper, she's out here with me. And, and the wind was blowing straight at where she's sitting. But, but we're going to, there we go. Now it's warm enough to, Woo. wind is blowing feed bags and stuff all i mean it is is like it's been gale for the last couple of days blowing stuff everywhere
this wheel weight alloy once I got all the steel clips and all that scooped out. It's really not that nasty. It ain't got a whole lot of other impurities in it, which is great. Really look, alloy really looks good. Actually, I only had two pieces of zinc in it that I had missed and one piece of, one small piece of steel. So, did pretty good with that this go around. Don't always happen like that. Alrighty. About got it to a point where we can, we're gonna go ahead and scoop out some ingots. <clears throat> Y'all stand by. Okay, let's see if we can get some, finally get some wheel weight alloy ingots done or made up here. I've been out for a while. It takes a lot of wheel weights, especially if you've got the, the wheel weights everywhere from a quarter of an ounce to an ounce and a half range. Buddy, you got to sort through a bunch of them to get a 50 pound pile of lead done here. And like I said, I like all different sizes. So. I like it leaving a good size pool in here to for my next batch. And that's about all we're gonna scoop out this time. And we'll load it back up. And do it again. All right, y'all stand by. Yeah. That one is hammer, hammer, and the grand boy come by. <laughs> Jacob is a ball of fire. Hand trying to convince Jacob this is very, very hot stuff. All righty. All right, then we'll make a lot more small ones. It's always adding small ones. We're gonna get it all this time. Cause it takes a while to uh, go through all those wheel weights. And I need to be able to mold up some buckshot for you guys. All righty. 
get the pot emptied out. 